Okay. So uncertainty. The Heisenberg uncertainty principle looks like this. Change in, oh my. Come back. Yes, change in x times change in momentum uh, is greater than or equal to h over 4 pi. For practical purposes, I, was, I would always write it as follows. Change in x times the mass times the velocity is equal to h over 4 pi. Just change it to an equal sign. If the quantity, so that concept first, if the, the concept is position and velocity cannot both be measured accurately. So you cannot measure the position and the velocity accurately at the same time. That's the concept. Okay? Uh, it's not a flaw uh, in the system. It's just an inherent way of how uh, small things work. All right. Now, if you're doing a calculation that involves something fat, okay, like us, big, our size, that you can see, you're going to get an extremely small number. Okay? If it involves a particle, like an electron or some subatomic particle, you're going to get a very large number as your answer. So, you can keep that in mind as a way to check your answers. Now, here's how the problems are stated. Okay, I'm going to put a little star by the constant. So this right here, that's a constant. H is the Planck's constant I wrote down before. 4 pi, that's a constant. Same pi as before. Now what you have to worry about are these three variables over here. The change in x, the mass, uh, and the velocity. So the change in x, that's the thing that's written with a meter after it. Okay, it's a distance. Anything that's a distance, you stick right there. If it has a velocity, a meters per second, you put that right there. And then the mass is a kilogram. That's, a how, that's the easiest way to tell them apart. You've got a distance, you've got a mass, and you've got a change in velocity. Now the other thing, sometimes, I would say maybe usually, you're going to get also, is a percentage. So you'll get something that says percent accuracy. Not in 100% problems, but quite often. Okay, you need to read. This will either go with the change in x, or it'll go with the change in u. The change in velocity. You need to read the question, just use your English skills to see which one it goes with, and then you multiply this number with, with the one it goes with. So for example, uh, it'll say something like, the velocity is 50 meters per second with a 5% uncertainty. So then you multiply 5% times 50 meters per second. Does that make sense? So whatever the percentage is, you multiply by that. Now, usually, the unknown the unknown is almost always either delta x or delta u. So if this is really a plug and chug sort of problem. Everything else is given except for delta x and delta u. Usually there's a percentage and you multiply it by that one that's given. Okay? So uh, I don't have an example for you, but that's the basic concept. Think of it as plug and chug and you'll be pretty happy on the test if you get it.